Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something that I've not actually done on the channel before and that is play the campaigns of Age of Empires. So, not done that on Age of Empires 2 but we're going to do it in Age of Empires 4 because I've been really really excited about the campaign. So we're going to dive in with the Normans. We're going to be looking at 1066, the Battle of Hastings when William of Normandy set sail to take the English throne whilst the King Harold Godwinson was busy fighting the Vikings of Harold Hardrada up in the north. But, well, that was prior to the Battle of Hastings actually happening. But anyway, let's dive in. We're going to uh, look at the documentary bit first, but I'll put in the, I'll put timestamps if you want to skip that. But let's all learn together and relive history. Some events leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. Sinlac Hill. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed, and his victor claimed the throne. You'd think there'd be some archaeology uh, there, wouldn't you? And what happened to everything? October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England and his challenger, William, Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north. Another threat to his crown. So he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the channel to England. The weather cleared. White Cliffs of Dover. Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, <laughs> his army sped south. To walk all the way back. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. So you're doing these little documentaries it must have cost them a few you know a few quid you know a bit must have been expensive so william of normandy began his conquest of england but to end the anglo-saxon rule he would first have to kill their king so apparently according to the bayer tapestry he got shot in the eye uh, harold king harold anyway i'll wait for this to load and then we'll come back okay here we go let's Reenact the battle, there's King Harold. October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. Okay, attack Harold's Saxon army. Okay, that's fine. Charge. William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the ship. Where's my king? Let's use that ability, rally the attack speed. 
He's doing all right. I've just got to be careful he doesn't die, really. But he's fine. Though William's army fought it's just... fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As oh. one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near mm. impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. Feign a retreat. Run away! Run away! William's retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Alright, let's go again, guys. Get into um Got archers. Standing man there doing nothing. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick Easy. them off as they charged. Easy. We've got men at arms versus militia. They look pretty cool though, those militia. There we go. Wiping them out now. We should have got so many men at arms with all those spearmen there. The Anglo Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders. But William had an answer his sharp eyed archers. There we go, guys. You get stuck in. Yeah, we're gonna easily kill these guys. William's doing all right. He's down to nearly half health, but he's fine. Mm -hmm. I feel like my numbers are starting to dwindle. There we go. Let's use that ability again. I think he needs to come out of the way <laughs> before he dies. Oh man. I'm going to, literally going to lose on my army. I've got some reinforcements. That's what she just said, isn't it? Oh man. Not enough men at arms. Not enough men at arms. Anglo Saxon archers joined the fray. Oh man. Norman's deadly cavalry. I've got some more here. To charge. Uh, got first, some more. William's forces had there we go, to eliminate some more. the enemy spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. They do seem very tanky, these ones. Uh, the hardened spearmen. Uh, I've got more men at arms coming in. Have I got any more? Yeah. Run. Just use attack. Attack, uh, attack move there. Yeah, it's getting a bit better. Let's increase attack speed. Oh no, I can't. There we go, got some more. Got some more coming in here. It's going to be really good when people get their hands on the uh, scenario uh, editor. Quite looking forward to seeing what people can come up with. Pull me out, just back. Let's not die. Of spearmen cleared from the field. Long cavalry ready. William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo Saxon archers. Charge. Oh. William's still getting stuck in, bless him. No, 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 don't charge into the spearmen. <laughs> well, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? You go for them. Let's pick up this spearmen. The Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized, and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only ah. thing standing between William, Need to get William out there was King Harold himself. All right, that flank can die. That's fine. But let's buff these guys. The last of Harold's men encircled their king. Prepared to lay down their lives to save his. Judge. Come on. I'll make sure wounds are right. Where's that king? 
Good job I got my archers left. I mean, it's only right that I get the archers to kill him. You know, if we're going to be historically accurate. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold had fallen. Oh, got some more troops. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Good job I had these reinforcements there. Helps if you look at the minimap, doesn't it? Boom. GG, well played, Harold. Oh, there's a YouTube sub. <laughs> Which is a good reminder. Do remember to sub and like the video. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just <laughs> beginning. Yeah, there is arrow in the eye. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Come back next week. It's not going to be next week. It's going to be. <laughs> already uploaded. Anyway, come back and we'll dive into mission two.